Hello, Pisces. This is your reading for um, the end of January, early February 2020. I'm asking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for those born of the zodiac sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Full Celtic Cross, please. New energies and hopefully positive energies for Pisces. See what the beginning energy is. Like I said, I'm looking for positive energies, but if we don't get one, we work through it and realize this may not resonate with all Pisces individuals. See what's going on. Incoming energy. King of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, I do not assign one zodiac sign to a court card because it's mostly an energy of someone with a lot of stability um, or or they wear their crown well. They look highly in the community. They're stable. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Death card in reverse. Death card in reverse is about something trying to resurrect in your life. Or maybe you're continually trying to keep something under wraps. Maybe an, un an ending. Maybe you're trying to keep it ended. What's crossing it is the King of Swords. The King of Swords can be an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Also, it could be someone sharp with their words to the point of no filter sometimes. Your goal is the Justice card. And you see me shuffle these. And even if they are kind of like the other readings, you see me shuffle them. And I do shuffle them even prior to starting this video. But the justice card is someone seeking justice. So Pisces, you may be seeking justice, okay? Could have to do with the King of Swords. Could have to do with overall stability. Yep, I'm getting some of the same cards. I think, what was it, the last reading I just had? Um, Aquarius. Someone is trying to move on from troubled waters. In the past, you were hoping for your overall stability, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, going for overall um, wealth, you know, uh, wanting things uh, in your life would have to do with finances where you don't need anymore. It's, it's getting finally there. In the past, that's maybe what you were aiming for. Or maybe that's what was there, you know. And you know I'm going to start clarifying these cards and it could change the whole story up and make it interesting. And I'll be giving a love reading at the end, so stick with me. Hmm, it sure does. Reminds me a lot like uh, Aquarius. So we got the Two of Swords in reverse. Someone needs to put down their swords and see things for how they are in the very near future. Um, possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Four of Cups in reverse. Do not accept anything offered to you that is not to your liking. That is not what you want. You know, that you would... Do not accept things that you do not want, okay? You may actually turn something down. It's advice from the universe. Uh, what is coming towards you is the Ace of Swords. I call that the Sword of Truth or someone um, being very forceful in their truth. It doesn't mean that it is true. It's just they seem it as they seem it or they believe it to be true. Your hopes and fears is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Now, it could be your fears that you're, you're afraid you won't be able to get your emotions in check. Maybe you, you yourself are afraid you won't recover from whatever in life that possibly got you down. Could have to do with, um, like I said, a king of swords. Could be the king of pentacles. But you are trying to move on trouble situations. <clears throat> and you are seeing things for how they are. In the end, you got the queen of cups. It looks like you get your crown. Okay, Pisces? Queen of cups is someone who's able to... Um, <clears throat> go for what they're wanting in the emotional sense. They feel better. They feel like they got everything together, okay, in the emotional sense. Now, let me clarify this and find out what's going on here. Because you thought you had your Ten of Pentacles. It could still be that you do. <clears throat> but let's go back to the beginning. We have the Death card in reverse and the King of Swords. Someone could be trying to resurrect the situation with you, Okay. So, King of Swords, Death card, in reverse while you're there. I need two cards, please. And uh, YouTube may not suggest this video just because I said that card. They kind of block you on certain things. So you'll see a lot of readers not using it anymore. You're come, you want to come out of an unbalanced situation because something is unbalanced. It has to do with old heartbreak with the Three of Swords. Wow. I do see things working out for you, but someone is trying to... <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone's trying to resurrect a situation with you. They are. Now, your goal what crowns you, you're just wanting justice. You're wanting what is due to you. You want, is, you want things done right by you. So, um, the justice card. I need two cards, please, for the goal of Pisces in the end of January, early February. Two cards, please. 
justice again. Yeah, you definitely want justice, Pisces. Um, yeah, you're, you're having um, anxiety sometimes. <clears throat> that's another word that YouTube likes to block, but that's what it is, the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is about somebody um, wanting to sleep better at night. Um, they're seeking justice so they can sleep better at night, so they can rest, so they can relax a little bit. And that is your goal. Foundation, moving on from Troubled Waters with the Six of Swords. I need two cards, please, for the Six of Swords as the foundation. <clears throat> I need to get something to drink. <clears throat> I've been going all day. Yeah, so you're, you're moving on from manipulative situations. There you are again, the Queen of Cups, trying to put your crown back on, trying to regain emotional stability in your life, trying to gain what is yours, in other words. And you're trying to move on, like I said, from manipulative situations. <clears throat> Whether you did it or somebody else did. I'm feeling that it could be somebody else. You're trying to overcome heartbreak. You're trying to regain balance. You're trying to regain justice in your life. What is due to you. So in the, in the past, we got the Ten of Pentacles. It's in the upright. So I need two cards to clarify that. Because I already told you what that's about. But I need to know why it's there more. Two cards, please, for Pisces. Queen of Swords, you may be down with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, someone with no filter and sharp with words, Ace of Swords, and they spoke their truth to you, or you may speak their truth to them. It's like someone is um, looking for, um, in a way, justice in their own way. You know, Ace of Swords is the beginning of it, you know, going for it. Now, in the very near future, the Two of Swords, you're going to see things for how they are. There's no more blindfold. There's no more putting up your swords and blocking out the truth, Okay. The Two of Swords in reverse for Pisces in the very near future. Two cards, please. Page of Swords. Yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a, an air sign, possibly. I mean, it's a strong. It's strong, okay? And also that you're seeing things for how they are with the Page of Swords. You're seeing, like... Someone maybe even doing things they're not supposed to. Maybe they were doing something behind the scenes. Someone may have been um, watching you from behind the scenes. You know, on social media, you may have been watching them, trying to uh, find out what they're up to before they react towards you because you're, like, watchful for some reason. Page of Rods. Page of Rods is um, messages, possibly, of the emotional nature. No, of the passionate nature. Something forceful. Something that is not... Um, to your liking. So you may see things for how they are with a air slash fire sign. Or like, like I said, you're going to see things for how they are with people and how they react towards you. And they're going to see, and for some of you, they will see um, you also. You know, so someone's, they're seeing the truth, in other words. And I believe it's you because you got justice is what you're going for. Okay. Now, you know, you're seeing the truth. You're seeing for, think people for how they are is what I'm trying to say. Now, the possible future outcome advice from the universe is the four of cups in reverse. You don't have to accept anything that you don't want, okay? The universe is saying don't accept a cup that is offered to you because it's not what you're going to be wanting, okay? So, four of cups in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Pisces. Two cards. Yeah, you don't, it says do not argue and see things for how they are. Yeah, do not accept anything. You got the two of swords twice. You know, see, take off the blindfolds. Realize what's going on around you and be, and coming back into reality of how things really are. Um, do not argue and fight with this person. Do not even accept a cup because they may try to, to um, bait you into doing something or saying something, okay? So it's okay to it's, it's, it's see how people are going to try to, in a way, kind of trick you, you know? Because remember, the foundation, we got the magician in reverse. There is a manipulator there. So don't be tricked, okay? And what is coming towards you, someone's going to say that they're going to speak their truth, what they believe is the truth. And maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. But it's going to be kind of forceful. And I see it over here in the past position also. So Ace of Swords in the upright, coming towards Pisces. Why are you there? Two cards, please. Yeah, someone's kind of, that you know, they're kind of in the hermit mode, so they may have been watching you. I mean, I'm not saying you haven't been looking them up either, but they've been definitely, you know, in the back burner, you know, not 
really talking to people or not really showing themselves. They themselves want to come out of feeling like the Five of Pentacles, like feeling abandoned, feeling like they don't have enough, not have enough money. And they may say, I don't have enough money. I feel abandoned. I feel neglected by you. So it's going to be different for the reason why for all Pisces. But you may get approached by this person speaking their truth. Well, they made me feel like I was nothing, you know, and I couldn't go anywhere and, you know, things like that. And they may be accusing you of stuff, but it could be their truth. They may be seeing it that way. It doesn't mean it is. It just means that's what they're seeing. Now, your hopes and fears of the Knight of Cups, this could be you trying to regain your stability or at least your emotional stability, you know. And the Knight of Cups is in reverse. You're just trying to get back on track. So the Knight of Cups in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Pisces. Two cards. He's in the hopes and fears, remember. Yeah, you're trying to regain growth, and you feel like you're going to be stuck or chained to the hip to, to a situation. You may be obsessing too much, so be careful over situations, or you're afraid someone else may be obsessing on you. In the end, you got the Queen of Cups in the upright, and I see this card twice in the upright, so you're able to regain your crown or keep it. So the Queen of Cups in the upright, I need two cards, please. For Pisces, and I'll give you a love reading after this, but this is someone something you're definitely going through with a possible air sign. Yeah, you're not going to do any more give and take, and you're not going to sit there and worry about um, celebrations or going out with this person. In the universe, you're in alignment with the universe. It says to see things for how they are and don't accept the cup. Do not um, deal with situations that may cause arguments. You know, turn the arguments away. So you can regain your composure. To you can regain who you are. You don't have to do any give and take with this person. It also could be that you're dealing with people that are overindulging. Because I did see that devil there. For a few of you, you may be overindulging. It all has to do with a lover. Lovers in reverse. Now, <clears throat> we were going through a lot of weird energies. We were going through that um, Pluto-Saturn conjunction. We had eclipses. With, you know, um, close things off in our lives and bringing in new things. So a lot of, everybody's going through this, okay? So it looks like you're going to regain your composure. It just says don't deal with people that aren't for you. See things for how they are. Don't get trapped up in anything and keep on moving on from troubled waters. And this will take care of itself. And I'm going to give you a love reading, okay? Got to give you the truth. I got to clean this up, but I got to give you the truth because if you go out there and you don't hear the truth, you'll be, um, land, uh, blindsided by something else if someone told you everything's going to be all hunky-dory and it doesn't end up that way is you got to go through the motions and fix this situation it's just not going to fix itself so the whole thing is to do is like i said don't um accept anything that's not good for you you know you don't have to and see things for how they are don't argue with people it's not worth it because they could be going through their own thing you know they see their own truth they don't see your truth okay so I'm going to go ahead and give your love reading and see what's going on. This could be anything. This could be family also. It doesn't have to be a lover, even though the lover's card there. It could be someone you're emotionally in a bond with in some way. So let me give you a love reading. I'll be right back. Let me clean this up. Hello, Pisces. This is your love reading for the end of January, early February. I don't like to get too far ahead, even though these start then. And you can always, you always have control over your life, okay? You have free will. You do not have to accept um, negative situations. It's just warning you so you can do something about it before it creeps up on you, you know. But this is a love reading for Pisces, Summon and Rising, new energies and hopefully positive energies concerning love for the end of January, early February 2020. I need three cards, please. Let's see what we got going. You can choose a section if you feel compelled to do so. In the end, I, I try to bring it all together anyway. And it may relate to this last reading we just had, or may give us a totally different energy, but a lot of times it does relate to the last reading. Just letting you know. But I need three cards for the angel answers for romance, about love, about the emotional nature that Pisces needs to know. Pisces, summon and rising, early January, or no, late January, early February. Better get these right. Summoning and rising Pisces. Three cards. Beautiful cards. Someone asked me in the last reading, and I'll, I'll let them know in a the comment. These are the angel answers. If you just type it in, you'll find them. The newer version. 
I'm going to put all the cards I use on my website. I'm not going to put it on um, YouTube because sometimes they penalize you for certain words. And some of these words that these, you know, tarot cards have or the titles are considered a no-no, you know. But this is uh, the Psychic Tarot. I need three cards for Pisces, Summon and Rising, the end of January, early February 2020 for Pisces. New energies, positive energies, hopefully, for Pisces, Summon and Rising. See what we got going on. Hopefully it'll tell us something interesting, something we need to know about love. Because I do see a little yuck there. Finances and career, you need to focus on that. Sometimes these love cards do that, even though I asked about love. So something about your finances and career you need to focus on. When that is all in order, then you can carry on with your love life or you'll feel better about your love life. Don't stop. There, don't give up on your career and your financial stability over emotional situations, okay? Because I see you emotionally withdrawn. The whole idea is to move on from troubled waters. But I do see you uh, possibly walking away from everything. So don't stop where you're at. Things will get better. Focus on finances and career. And then when the time is right, love will come in. But um, don't stop. Whatever, whatever happens, just focus. Just keep on going no matter what, and things will work out. Let me go into the second pile. Like I said, I do wrap these all up together. Let your friends help you. If you're feeling a little neglected or a little out of it or a little sorrowful, let your friends help you. They're there. If you don't feel like you have any, um, go out and um, mingle with people, and you may find a very good friend. Choose a new direction, what is best for you. I've been seeing that with the Six of Swords. And there is a mental conflict you have. You put it in the comments if I have them open. Sometimes I get a lot of trolling. So you got to, you know, shut them down for a little bit so they don't attack other uh, commenters that are, you know, feel a little, you know, open to other people's. They may, you know, get insulted. And I don't want that to happen when they're, um, when they open their feelings to others. But there's a mental conflict in there with, your relationships, but choose a new direction and let your friends help you if you feel like you're going to falter. I do feel like there's love coming in for Pisces, but they got to let things go. Yes, there is. Very soon, somebody will come in your life, someone positive, someone you need in your life, someone that's worth it. Look at that light. Look how that does. It's a new camera. And when you're, you are ready, you're going to be ready when this person comes in very soon. Got to fix this. Let me turn that down a little. Sorry about that. I don't know why it's going on. And you got to play the waiting game. You got to wait. It's going to be very soon, but you got to wait for the new people, okay? It'll come when you're ready. It'll be kind of come very soon. But you got to you know, focus on finances and career. Don't withdraw just because of what someone else did to you. Don't stop where you're at. Keep on going. Let your friends help you. Choose the right direction, a new direction. Even though you're having mental conflict, the whole I think the whole idea on here is Pisces. Don't give up. And I've been seeing that just now for your sign, but a lot of signs for the conflicts we're going on with the energies this month. You feel like maybe you need to give up. Maybe every time you feel like you're trying on something, you know, it's like two step back. You know, you're going one step forward, two steps back. But don't let that get in, get in the way. Choose a new direction if something is um, getting in your way or you feel stagnant. Um, don't give in to mental conflicts. Don't overthink things. You know, don't keep in your thoughts. Move forward because very soon better things are coming for you. It'll come in when you're ready because right now a lot of you aren't or haven't been. But it will come in very soon and you'll be ready then. But you got to play the waiting game, okay? It's going to happen. I promise. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to find out what's going on with this lighting. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.